of Ohio uh, versus Raymond Tensing. For the last time, this case called inside a Hamilton County courtroom. Judge Leslie Giz dismissed the murder and voluntary manslaughter charges against Tenzing with prejudice. That means Tenzing can never again be tried in state court on any charge related to the traffic stop shooting of Sam DeBose two years ago. Ray, what's going through your mind now that the case has been officially dismissed? Tenzing rushed out of court and down the stairs without commenting. Attorney Stu Matthews spoke on his behalf. Um, he's relieved, I think, to some extent, but again, the, the Department of Justice investigation allegedly is out there, and until that's resolved, he's still concerned. The U.S. Attorney's Office says it's reviewing evidence from the previous two trials and will determine if an investigation is warranted into possible federal civil rights violations. Both trials ended with hung juries. Based on my conversations with jurors, I was always told by many of them that there would never be a unanimous decision. Matthews says jurors were extremely attentive, but divided on racial lines. He says during deliberations, jurors discussed the Smoky Mountains t-shirt Tenzing was wearing under his uniform the day of the shooting. It had a Confederate flag on it and was not allowed to be shown during the second trial. It's my understanding from talking to the jurors that even though it was not part of the trial, it was discussed in the jury. As for whether Tenzing should become a cop again. I think absolutely he was a good police officer and he'd make an excellent officer for any department that wanted to take a chance on. And today Judge Leslie Giz also released the questions the jurors asked during deliberations. One of them was, what's the legal definition of passion or sudden passion? And Giz told them to go back and read the jury instructions. One thing we have yet to see, the questionnaires the jurors filled out prior to the jury selection process. Giz said she would release them immediately following the trial, but so far she has refused. Reporting live downtown, Karen Johnson, WLWT News 5.